There you go. All right, guys. Welcome back. As we are at Cumbies today. I was going to go to McDonald's. I might still go today. But I figured since the sun is setting and I figured that it would be nice to get out of the house. I was going to do this video last week. To my dismay, of course, I found out that, uh, well, it was kind of windy um, a few days ago. And so instead of having to deal with wind noise, I decided to kind of come back a second time today. Because I came back originally up here on Tuesday and uh, was talking about how the movie night was going to go. So let's talk about the after effects of the movie night because there is a couple things to address. Um, is the DV, is the Blu-ray discs the problem? Is the drive the problem? Is it just not in the stars? Is it HDCP? Is it what? What causes it not to work? I said it's way over there. And so uh, I'd be careful opening it so unless you want to explode and uh, yeah, I agree. Anyway, so let's see if I can get this open without making an explosion here. This is just like opening up any kind of soda, you know. It's just Diet Coke. Um, it's not too bad right now. Not too insane. Um, so, I was thinking about going... Um, so let me get back to the main thing. We'll talk about McDonald's in a bit. Um, so I had gotten everything hooked up. Everything was working fine. We're watching Lord of the Rings. Um, the Not the Fellowship of the Ring, but the other one. The last one. Apparently it was the last one I had put on. And um, it had played fine. But... Halfway through it, when Bilbo got hurt from a poison enchanted sword, the video went a little, little, little crazy. And I took the disc out of the drive, and I could see that there was two tiny scratches on it. But they were near the end of the disc in the outer rim. That would be where the end of the movie would be. That would be the outer rim. And I didn't have any big wire plastics to um, polish the disc and make it look good. So I said, okay, let's put the other disc on the series. So I put on the two towers. Again, same problem. And I'm like, okay, this isn't working either. I didn't have any other DVDs or Blu-ray discs to play. So I said to myself, is it? Is it sticky? It is the lubricant and the uh, the head mechanism resulting in stickiness that would cause the disc not, uh, the laser head assembly not to move? Or is it really truly the disc itself is going bad? I say that because I looked at the disc and it was almost like translucent. And I said to myself, wait a minute, standard media is like, not this, it's not this translucent, it's more opaque. Uh, I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Why is this, a, why is this so translucent? Um, so, because I don't remember what the disc looks like when it originally when Tiger Kitty gave me those about two years ago. But, um, clearly I couldn't play the movie. And I went, well, we gotta fill with something. We knew a Raku box works, so we plugged in the Raku box instead. 
And I was looking on the Rocky Box to buy the movie, and we found Sonic the, Sonic the Hedgehog. The original Sonic the Hedgehog. And that was a good movie, mind you. I know there are people who hated it, but I actually, I liked it. I think the Sonic character is really cute. And uh, the story is cute. And I like cute stories. I like stories that make you feel good inside. The fact that Sonic in the end actually benefited from being able to be with a, uh, a couple that really likes him. And um, he had, apparently, I guess he kind of adopted them in himself, kind of like a pet does, like a cat does. Um, so, because he had been observing them for quite a long time. Speaking of cat, Rusty's doing okay, too. Um, I haven't seen him spitting up anything any, uh, at the, recently. So, I think whatever it was, was maybe... I'm, I'm not a veterinarian, so please, do not say I'm trying to give medical advice, because I'm not. I think he's just been eating too much food, and, and uh, like I have, and he started getting the kind of... The stomach is kind of saying is that he can't handle it because of his age. Maybe that's the reason. So I'm trying to kind of keep an eye on the food intake anyway for him and me. Um, what brings us up to the McDonald's thing? Because the McDonald's thing is $19.70 for lunch. $19.70. I can make the same food at home and even better double cheeseburgers and a couple steak fries in the oven and so the only thing I can't make is a shake I, I do get ice cream now so theoretically I could make a fribble but I don't have a uh, I don't have a blender so just figure I'm gonna get myself I also have one container for, of yogurt too so I can have yogurt instead of a shake um so I was like, yeah, you know what? I really don't want to go to McDonald's. I mean, McDonald's is okay once in a while, but I really kind of trying to watch my budget because um, I calculated the um, the budget for next week and uh, next month, the twenty second. And we're going to mention two different bill dates: twenty second and the third of the month. Now, on the third of the month, is we get our Social Security disability check. So. The donation money is not used to pay the bills. This money is used to um, provide extra goodies for the studio as needed. But, Lumi pointed out to me that you owe a thousand an ally. So if you can pay ally $300, which means the whole 197 coming in and another hundred that's in your budget for next month. The result is that you're going to only own 700 and then next month you do the same thing. You pay 100, 100, 100, 100 until it's paid off and then you will have no debts owed. And then you can't give it to we're going to get anything in April because um, the donation donations kind of fizzled out. Although I did finally make the little tag for Buff Carrot. It's on the tree. And it's on gold paper, and um, that I got from a Walmart with Krista. And the one thing I realized is I should have bought some white magic markers because some of the markers are going to be kind of hard to see in purple, you know, on purple paper, dark purple. So, unless I take some, you know, paper glue and glue it inset into the center of the paper. I could do that. And then in the inset, right? Thanks, thank you, whoever donated, and then that would work, you know? Yeah, that would work, that would work. So, um, but well, maybe I might just get me down today anyway. Just for the hell of it. The sun is going down. You can see that out there. There's the sun going down over the mountains. There's the trees. This area out here. Um, so, yeah. So... 
By the way, I never really talked much about this. I found something today outside on the street. Uh, and I did test it. I found an abandoned USB micro B cable. It obviously had been out in the rain for a while. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work. Um, it's just a shame because it is a it is a meter and a half long and it would have been nice if it was working but it's not so I have to throw that in the tip but um, it was kind of cute to get that uh, cable I didn't get anything to go with the soda because as I said originally I was going to go home after this and make dinner and uh, I might still do that. I don't know yet. Uh, I, I mean, I, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I do kind of want to enjoy me a little. But let's talk about the budget because we might as well finish about that first. So after... I calculate the budget, me and Lomi, based on the money we get from Social Security Disability, we have a net profit of $230. Now, we got rid of the auto pay on the T-Mobile because, unfortunately, last month, I ended up being double charged. It's not T-Mobile's fault for the second charge, that was my fault, because of the way I do the billing. Um, so... I paid, um, it was $131 or something like that. And I paid, it was 161 And I, so first they took out the 161 Sounds fine. Then I went ahead, not knowing they took out the 161 I took out another 161 So they got paid twice. Okay. And... I said to myself, is when they looked when the item bill payment was go through every month, it was on the first. I said, that is not acceptable because the first, I don't guarantee, I'm going to get me checking the first. So I had to turn off the auto pay because I realized what if I one day I didn't even think about it and the next thing you know what, I still get non submission bunch charges because I forgot about the auto pay. I said, no. No, no. For twenty dollars off the bill, it is not worth it for me. I mean, if it was like a hundred dollars or something like that, I maybe I might be a little more receptive to it. But no, absolutely not. <laughs> don't do it, guys. If you don't guarantee you're going to get paid in the middle of the month, and we can't guarantee with YouTube we're going to get paid in the middle of the month, so don't do it. Don't do it if you're used to doing everything by hand and manually authorizing all transactions. Just take the hit for the team, you know, which is, you know, just pay $20 more. It's 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 better for you. At least you know the bills are paid when you say that it'll be paid. And, and they just can cool the heels a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that makes sense. And the $230 net profit isn't exactly a huge windfall, but it's not exactly the worst. Remember, $230 net profit means that you're still going to be able to uh, put a lot of money towards the bills and things like that. And right now, they got some of the lights coming in because the sun's going down. So, um, let me adjust the slide on this thing here a bit. To do that, it's pretty easy. All I do is um i'm gonna increase the density light this up uh, let's bring this up to 20 percent and let's change this up to mm, let's get a daylight yeah so i turn up the brightness and i switch to daylight because these are these are metal halides and uh metal halide bulbs this one seems to be burnt out but uh, these tend to have closer to 60, uh, 5,500 degrees Kelvin. And 5,500 degrees Kelvin this is as high as it goes. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's... Now, next topic. 
video, oh, portrait versus landscape videos. Is it really worth it? Well, let me tell you what I think. I think that number one, if I put this camera on this camera in uh, portrait mode, that the one thing is it's going to be very top heavy. Because right now, the way it's set right now, the, the camera is already kind of lopsided. So, because the way the controls are. So for me, I would have to flip the camera over um, this way. And that's just, that's just plain stupid looking. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, yeah, so we just about you should stand like this. So like this looseness thing here. See if I don't knock myself off, I'm a mistake. But then what happens? Well, what happens is, is now it's too heavy and the camera and everything is camera's out of balance. Okay? The camera's out of balance some because it's too heavy. So there is ways the software do it. But I'm not gonna do that right now, okay? And it's not worth it. It's not worth it. To do software hardware balancing still on, yeah. Uh, so, so you might be saying as well, good Michelle, portrait mode is the newest rage. Yes, it's the newest rage. Congratulations, guys. However, the sad truth is for me is it doesn't work with the stand. <laughs> Not unless you get the other bracket out, which doesn't have the light holder. Yes, then it would work. Then it would work. Um, what did I mean? Oh, yeah. The other thing. Noodle suggestion. Oh, why don't you just leave your camera on all day long, not actually doing anything, turn off the comments, or leave the comments on, but just don't get a chance to look at them. Nils, I tried that long before you even suggested it. And that Rusty did my mistake when he started the camera without even looking. Next thing you know, I wake up and everybody sees, oh my God, when she going live? She, I see the camera itself and just don't here and it's dark in here. Rusty turned the camera on in the middle of the night. <laughs> no, wait. No. No. No, I I don't think so. No, 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 no. God no. Look guys, um I'm sorry, but the answer is I don't think I wanna do this. This is just a stupid idea. You're gonna sit there and watch me on camera in the middle of the, I mean I'm not that excited more to them when we sit with them. We we argue a bit, we talk a bit. Um we eat a bit. We excrete a bit. We have some fun under the sheets a bit. Uh, uh, so yeah, it's not really like, it's me for an exciting day. Oh yeah, we saw snores a bit. Yeah, we, we take a nap, yeah. Um, let's bring us to another topic. What about the situation regarding getting a passport well we could have that way the one problem we um have got to put um pay off the bills first yeah Michelle's not going to be going and help flying it's in the UK with no money anyway like she said right no. so even though Michelle got a passport Michelle has to buy luggage. Michelle has to go through the immunization requirements to make sure she gets the proper shots. Michelle has to make sure she has travel on baggage. Um, and that's if you fly. What's as fast as in the deepest so you can get 
uh, basic stateroom. It was pointed out in Queen Mary 2 for about $700, which isn't bad considering it's a one week trip. I love the ocean. And I love being, I love the stuff that you can do on, um, on ships. You know, it's fun. You, know, you can eat buffets. Um, you can get to enjoy the, the night shows, get to meet guests, get to know them pretty good. So, yeah, that'd be nice. But I think that at the same time, in all reality, is right now, we still haven't got a second witness so Michelle can get her uh, will notarized at the post office like Stan C.T. said. So we have to get a second witness to go with us to um, get the will notarized and we got to do the living will. Oh my god. Um, this does not have to be notarized but it does need two witnesses. Yes. It's just insane. So, now, let's talk about uh, one more thing. These videos, the one you're watching right now, these, the lowest resolution my phone will do with these is 1080p. I know it's a 5G phone with LTE and it's nice and smug and fast, but you know what? Do you really need to see the kind of resolution where you can see every pore in my skin? So, what I need to do is I could take these videos home and feed them in the final or into handbrake and reduce the resolution on them to something like 720p or I did I one time I did down to letterboxed pal but still look pretty good but um and I think that would be fine. I mean, it does not have to be that you don't need to see 1080p for this video. I'm sorry to say it. My resolution ain't that great. But that's just the way it is. That, uh... Well, you know, these are the same kind of lamps in it's as well as, uh... Or CBS has. With one difference. You can actually see the bulb on these. I, when I, I saw the lamp standards over the CBS, I said to myself is, they had black lamp houses. Like they were using a kind of a UVC filter on I'm like, why would you need a UVC or a UVA, UVB or infrared filter on a lamp house? Only thing I can think of is maybe they're using infrared light to um, use it to record video. I still thought that was kind of a stupid idea. Why not lighten up your parking lot at the same time? Um, but then again, maybe they did that originally, but then they later changed their mind and they said, ah, screw it. Just left the lights off. I don't even remember those lights are being on over there. I really don't. I don't ever remember those lights being on over there. So, I mean, I said, I was like, okay, the lights, the lights are on, but there's no one home. Or, then I guess they said, I realized that they're electric bill with 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, maybe they can negotiate down a cheaper rate than the standard customer. But you know what? Probably not. Commercial customers, I understand, have a higher rate than the residential ones. So, more than likely, Walmart thought it was, I mean, um, CBS thought it was a stupid idea and gave up on it. <laughs> Probably exactly what happened. Yeah. And realizing uh, saying to myself, is that's a stupid idea in the first place. What's the point? You know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna benefit from that. 
Bailey. I mean, infrared lighting out of, out of a mercury halide bulb is certainly possible considering they throw a lot of heat because it's a short or a clamp, but no. Nah. Lighten up the world around you first, buddy. Oh, hell, but the same bright you could go ahead and throw in some electric heaters in there, too. You know, almost any standard resistance heater is an excellent infrared body generator. You know, also makes things look extra hot, too. But they're designed to deal with metal hail labels, so sending out, plugging in a thousand watt you know, electric resistance heater and there isn't exactly going to be any cooler than any of the other light sources. And you know, it's funny, it's getting kind of late, so you get a chance to hear some of the Winston nightlife start to come out now. So, what are we going to do for Friday? Oh, we're going to have a normal Friday night show. I don't know what we're going to cover. I got a yellow dollar sign on today, so that's probably because we talked about cannibalism. People don't like talking about that subject. I understand. I get it 100%. No problem. But I mean, it was an issue that was brought up to my attention that we need to cover briefly from Haiti. And so I said, fine, I'll bring it up. And honestly, it does kind of cringe me out a bit okay um that's the only thing that i can think of but we haven't getting green dollar signs now for the last few days and the problem is at the same time we're getting the green dollar signs the last few days i noticed that auto insert is not putting a lot of um advertisements in an auto ad placement. I mean, put in like one or two or three of them and that's about it. I said, like, that's it? That's all you're doing? That's what they always do. I'm like, ah, hell, I can do better than this. So I went ahead and said, hold my microphone. I'm going to shove in a couple more. And in some cases, it was fine and I didn't have a problem. So, that, yeah, makes sense. But, but, and sometimes it doesn't make any sense to shove in any more ads. The mileage varies. Um, well, hard drives. Uh, um, what's your plans for hard drives? I don't know yet. I can't believe this. It's the same size as a Starbucks coffee cup. This is the same size as a venti. A venti means 20 in Italian. 20. Okay. So you got 20 ounces, in this case, of soda, versus a 20 ounce coffee. They have, they have ventis here. I love And, um, they don't charge as much as they do at Starbucks. Okay, fine. And no, I did not win at Starbucks. Um, we will. I actually didn't win at all. But I still came. I played the game. I was there for the game. Which is kind of cool. And, um, still, like, I mean, like I said, it was pretty exciting. I got a chance to do something. So, so Friday night we have a night show. Sunday night we have the night show with Silver Moon Radio. Monday morning, okay, so tomorrow is Thursday. We have a morning show Friday. We may be with Krista. I do not know yet. I did not confirm with Krista. Um, for the immediate time being, I really don't know if there's going to be anything planned for that time. 
So we'll have to see what's going to happen with that tomorrow. How are you doing? So. That's what we're going to do. Um, if we do go to uh, for appointments, whatever, I want to make sure you understand this. Always understand this. We have a three o'clock show, uh, show in that afternoon. I don't see when the main show time and the alternative time zones or, or times are getting messed up at the same time. So, if I'm not alive at 10, well, that sounds weird. Well, you just said that if I'm not alive at 10. <laughs> well, if... I'm going to use it anyway. Okay. If I'm not alive at 10, i.e. I'm asleep or there's appointments or something like that, um, then we will be at 3 o'clock. Unless something really, really majorly wrong happens and I can't be alive at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, too. That's pretty rare. Usually I am on at least one of the two times, either 10 or three. Um, so our night shows at seven o'clock, um, just like the morning shows are on YouTube and Kick. The exception is Silver Moon Radio, which is only on Kick. And uh, we got about a hundred, almost a hundred people now. We're at 98, 98. Once we get to a hundred, I'm gonna, turn off that uh, that gold thermometer because you don't need to see the green screen or the green thing when it's completely full. It's, it makes no sense. Um, and so we're going to try to do that and, and grow the channel and all that. As far as what am I going to do after this? Um, I don't know yet. I did think about maybe going to McDonald's. Um... Because me and Lemmy were thinking about eating out tonight. But, um, I don't just go to McDonald's anyway. Just fuck it. It's, it's no reason not to. Besides, it's sure to help eat sitting home and eating your hamburger patties. You don't even put pepper in them. I know they're plain. Oh, they are certainly plain. Yes. <laughs> it's like eating tasteless commodities speaking of commodities um should i get into day trading uh i i don't know day trading what exactly is that you sit on the computer all day and you basically try to buy low so high like it did with ebay yeah, kind of fuck that. No, I don't think you want to sit there all day watching you go. Oh wait a minute! This stock is now selling for for twenty for ten cents a share. Oh my god! I'm gonna buy twenty euros, which is four dollars. And that, oh my god! It just went up to about thirty cents a share. I'm gonna sell them all now. So I'm gonna make a profit of whatever. Two dollars? Something like three dollars. Three dollars! Something like that. What the f <laughs> I don't think I want to see that. That sounds like it sucks. It does. Oh. No, 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 no. Let's go elsewhere. I don't want to go through that. Now, by the way, thanks to the new light that uh, was donated to the studio by Brian P. Save, you can see we are actually able to be out here. The sun is going down. This 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 lamp post isn't working and you can see we're well lit. Mm -hmm. And uh and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And uh, also we're using our Bluetooth transceiver here. It pick. I don't have a headset plugged into it because the microphone and the headset doesn't isn't next to use. By the way, those are indeed wired AirPods third generation. I found out um, looking at the history of the iPod design. I remember my iPhone 3GS came with the 
the first generation. Those things sucked. Oh, well, they weren't that bad. They weren't that bad. But they weren't that great either. No, not really. So, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to go ahead and have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. If I don't oversee, guys, I haven't. Remember, since we got to the stupid daylight savings time, my sleeping patterns have been totally messed up. And it's still messed up, even today. Um, I have a routine to get up at a certain time and do things. And now I realize that everything is now one hour or, um, ahead. So, and I normally would get up and say 9 o'clock my time on my computer all of a sudden. It's, it makes you lose a friggin' hour. I lose a friggin' hour. So, if not, because I'm in time, uh, what's the time? So it's 10, 9, it's now 10. So now when I get up, I really still feel like it's 7.30 and it's 8.30. And then my brain's like, no, oh, I'm going back to bed. You know? Because my brain still thinks it's Eastern Standard Time. And that's the reason why I have been almost late a few mornings. But, uh, at least today we were actually able to start so close to on time. So that was a good thing. But, so... Should you upload these videos raw like this, or should you convert them to, to lower resolution? Well, there's advantages and disadvantages to each. So let's look at this. If I plug this into my computer, and I run it through Handbrake, and I then take the video and reduce it to 720p, The problem is you're going through a double conversion. The double conversion is one. You gotta upload it from the phone to the computer um, using iPhoto. Or if you wanna import it directly into uh, Final Cut Pro, put it in the Final Cut Pro. Then if you put it in the Final Cut Pro, you can still tweak it out. You can like go, okay, let's get rid of the you know, change some things, if there's any edits we want to do, change those and stuff. But then it becomes a V-Cast and not a vlog. So it's kind of sucks, because I like the v -cast, I like the vlogs to be kind of like they are, because they're organic and they're not, like, formalized. But the V-Cast tend to be formalized and more ritual. Um, so... But if I upload, if I leave it on my phone and I upload it through 5G, that takes a while too. Um, I don't know if the iPhone 15 has the same problem as the iPhone 8 does. Go the YouTube app. <laughs> Let me explain this. When you're using the YouTube app on the iPhone 8, and you click the power button to lock the screen. The upload stops. <laughs> so you're like, oh, now I got to finish uploading the video all over again. Because now the upload stops. Lovely. Um... Or, like I said, you can go halfway. Like I said, you could... Um, now, you might say, and you would be right. Why don't you upload the video using your 2009 Mac Pro? Because it has such a big hard drive in it. Plug your phone into the 2009 Mac Pro. Go into Final Cut Pro on that. Or in the handbrake on that. Or to... Um, many of the other programs and do the same thing. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that too. But I found out one of the things that, that's a real disappointment for me 
with um, Final Cut. There are different versions of the same stupid software, and one of them is for um, the newer ARM chips, which is the one that's on the uh, the Mac Mini, and the other one that's for the Intel Mac, which is the older one, is on the um, 2009 Mac Pro. And the problem is they have a different database. So I'm sitting there going, like, what am I supposed to do? Do I, do I want to edit, start the video editing on the Mac Mini, and I want to finish it up on the Mac Pro because it has a bigger hard drive. Then I have to basically start all over from scratch. This is stupid. I'm like, because you can't export it. Oh, my hair elastic's still here? Yep, there's hair elastic. Oh, no. Reds was still on the table. That looks... Well, maybe it wasn't from last time you are here, but it's definitely still here. Yeah, that's my hair elastic. So, um, it's... So, I have to figure out what's the best way to do the video and stuff like that. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I have no idea. But, um... So, I might go back over and see if I can find... For High Sierra... Um, I think I'm using the very latest High Sierra version of Final Cut Pro. Um, maybe I might have to download the same version for the Mac Mini. So at least, or find if someone made a database conversion tool. Because I cannot afford to keep having to deal with different damn versions of Final Cut Pro to edit different kinds of videos. This is crazy! This is nuts! I can't do that. I really can't. I gotta have consistency and I don't think I have it. Oh, anyway, this is getting long enough. This is kind of meandering its way around. So, it's 7.08 and um, I just wanna say to everybody, thank you so much for watching this and being part of the show. Which button is it to end it? Uh, I think it's... Play the button on the phone itself. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's the plus and the minus or the... Uh, I know one of the buttons starts it. I don't remember which one. So for now, but let's see how we find that out. So to do that, I'm gonna... I think it's, I think it's the volume down. So let's see if that works.